at six o'clock, a Houston icon is being honored in an amazing way. Lauren Anderson danced with the Houston Ballet from 1986 to 2006. She is now a renowned dance teacher, and she's going to be honored with her own exhibit at a new museum in our nation's capital. Here's Sarah Donchi with more. To watch Lauren Anderson dance is to witness an artist whose medium is her own body carefully crafting every point in plie. It was a privilege afforded to many in her more than 20 years with the Houston Ballet. It's been a huge part of my existence. I'm grateful for ballet. Anderson was the first ever African-American principal ballerina for the Houston Ballet in 1990. On my tombstone, I don't want it to say she was the first, whatever. I want it to say she made a difference or she was an incredible dancer. Now retired, Anderson will have her own collection at the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture, set to open this month. So what does it mean to be in the Smithsonian? I can't believe it. I mean, my great grandkids are gonna be able to go to this museum and say, that's my great grandmother's crinkled up brown shoe. You know, I, I am, um, I'm very humbled by the whole thing. On display, the last point shoes she wore in her final performance with the Houston Ballet and a playbill. Someone said to me, you don't know how big this is. I said, no, I don't. Because I'm just Lauren Anderson, the dance teacher, mom, ballerina. And ahead of her trip to DC, Lauren was photographed by a familiar face. I was very nervous in the beginning because you are a living legend. I'm glad he did because I was very comfortable. There was a lot of emotion, I thought, in all the pictures we took. I mean, she's got so much great energy on the expression that just comes through. She's very particular about her, her lines. What I mean by that is the way her, her body is moving and shaped on camera. You can, photo, you can only Photoshop so much. <laughs> yeah, you can't Photoshop a line or a feeling. Much like those pictures captured Lauren in a moment in time, her legacy will remain on display for generations to see. It's a big deal, but it's not the reason why. It's not the reason why I do what I do, to be the first at anything. She is an amazing woman, and Lauren will attend a ceremony at the museum along with President Obama and other dignitaries next Saturday for the grand opening. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be there for that, so I can't wait to, to be I'm a part so of I'm so jealous of you. She is <laughs> phenomenal. I loved her, her thought process about being a great-grandmother and having that yes. legacy. And, you know, sometimes it puts it in perspective. It really and does. we also learned our Owen is quite the photographer. Mm -hmm. He's very